Okay, everyone. Um, so welcome Ohio County virtual lions and all lions from around the, the uh, world. We felt that it would be appropriate given that uh, we are trying to do a lot of our meetings in the cloud currently to have a tutorial to allow for that um, and help people who maybe um, are not as uh, technology savvy and probably need some some tutorial tips so um, to start um, I figured we would show you what it looks like to download the app so um, in order to be able to get into a zoom meeting you would have to have the zoom app on your tablet or um, uh, smartphone I have Apple products, so these are all Apple um, things, but the um, Android uh, Google Play store is gonna be very similar. So you're gonna go to your, your App Store, Google Play Store, and you're gonna type in Zoom. Uh, that's all you have to do is just Zoom, and then you would hit search, and it's gonna bring up uh, these four options. Uh, initially, I think there's some more down here below, but uh, Zoom cloud meetings is going to be the probably the first option you see. That's the one that you want because we are going to be meeting in the cloud. So Zoom cloud meetings. Mine already says open next to it because I've already downloaded it just for speed. Um, it takes about a minute uh, on on most uh, Wi-Fi's, and um, it will have a uh, get button right where that says open you would get the app it might ask you for your password you put in your password and then it will download it for you once it's downloaded you'll be able to open it either directly from the store like where it says open or if you are back out on your home screen um, it would be right there so now you are viewing the meeting format um, in order to get into the meeting you have to log an account uh, so we mentioned this in the first meeting that lion jenny uh, or the first video that lion jenny did um, that talks about uh, how to set up that account you can set it up using facebook you can use uh, uh, google uh, sign on or a single sign on uh, situation, or you can do the standard uh, email address and uh, register yourself with Zoom that way. It is free. You don't have to worry about paying anything. Uh, the host is the one that pays for the service, and uh, the Lions Club has already uh, purchased that for this meeting. And um, so after you have logged in to the app, uh, or registered uh, through the, the app or through, through the website. Um, then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is go to your email uh, or Facebook group if, if your group communicates that way. Um, and you're going to download uh, or click on the link that is in your, um, so we have an email that was sent out on April 26th about our officers and about our first general meeting um, so it's going to be may 5th at 6 p.m and you can see you've got your join zoom meeting link right there so we are going to click on that it is going to take us straight into the zoom uh, um, meeting in this case i've already got the meeting running so that's why it's not letting us run a second meeting um, but at this point, you would be able to see um, other people logging in, little boxes around your screen. Um, up on the top, I, I want to point out you've got your mute button. Um, the host will be muting all participants during the meeting and then we'll be unmuting people uh, to give them the floor. But if you wish to be muted and you personally want to mute yourself, you can hit that button to mute. Um, if for some reason you would need to stop your video from showing, you can hit the stop video. It will 
uh, revert to your name instead of your picture. And, um, but we would still be able to hear you even if you stopped the video and did not mute. Um, the next button is your share screen button. Uh, so if you wanted to share something with the, the group as I am doing right now by sharing my screen, um, you are able to see everything that's on my screen right now, including notifications that would pop up. Um, so that would be how you would share the screen. If you don't have something that you need to share with the group, I would not use that option. Um, but if you've got a document, if you have a picture of something, you know, a project that you want to try to take on and you want to show people what it would look like, uh, this would be the, the best way to do it from a Zoom meeting. Um, you can also share files through our chat and I'll show you uh, what that looks like here in a minute. Um, you also have a list of participants. So right now I'm the only participant in this meeting and um, I am the host of this meeting. Uh, you can see the uh, REC for recording, just to, to let you know that we are recording the meeting. Um, obviously I'm recording it so that you're able to see it. Um, and then our, our meetings will likely be recorded uh, and put on our website so that people can see the things that we're doing. Um, some of our members may not be able to make a certain meeting and may want to get caught up by hearing what we talked about. Um, you know, they're welcome to do that. And the um, icon next to the recording uh, icon is your microphone. Uh, it will pop up green as it responds to you talking. So if you're talking, it will pick it up and you'll see that green um, icon. You've got next to that, you've got your video icon. Um, and if you were to stop video, that icon goes away. Um, as a host, I have some other options down in the bottom with uh, invite, uh, mute all, unmute all, just so that you know, you probably will not see those on your side uh, if you're not hosting a meeting for us. And then uh, you've got your more, uh, the little three dots and then it says more. And uh, these options are, you've got your icon. So you've got a clapping hands icon and a thumbs up icon. You can use those as we're talking if you want to agree with something um, that somebody is saying without being unmuted and saying, I agree, agree with that, you can quickly tap on one of those icons and it'll alert everybody in the group that that's how you feel. It'll pop up a little icon in the um, uh, corner of your screen where, where your video is so that they know that that came from you. Uh, I believe that also shows up in chat, but, um, and then you've got your, uh, I have some recording settings because I'm currently recording the meeting. You will not see that. Um, you have your chat options. So this shows your chatting with everyone right now. Uh, right now, this meeting, everyone is just me. But uh, if everyone was in the, the room currently and I said, uh, I raised my hand, and then send it, it sends it to everybody to let them know that, hey, I wanna be heard. Um, one thing I did, I did not mention was that in the um, uh, participant settings, I don't see it on my screen because I'm the only person here and I'm hosting it, but as other members will log in, um, each participant will have the option to raise their hand from this participant screen. So you'll be able to click on your name and hit raise hand and it will notify everyone, including the host uh, that you wish to be heard so that we can unmute you and mute the rest of the speakers. So, um, so if you did that and maybe I didn't see you raise your hand, you could go into the chat and say, I raised my hand to everybody. And then um, if, Lion Chris or one of the other lions has the floor, they may see that and say, oh, um, Lion Matt wanted to uh, say something. So um, that kind of alerts the whole group that you wish to be heard 
uh, as opposed to the raise hand, which I think only goes to the host, but it, it may go to everybody. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, and then uh, you've got your meeting settings below the chat feature. Uh, I don't really recommend messing with too many of these options. They're pretty, uh, pretty much standard. They're set up to give you exactly what you would need for our meetings. Um, but as you get more comfortable, if you want to play around with them, uh, feel free to do so. And then you've got your uh, minimize meeting if you want to uh, go out of the meeting. Um, and then I'm going to try to go back to the meeting. There we go. So um, kind of gives you an idea of the different settings that are in each Zoom meeting. Um, I highly recommend that you get on uh, ahead of time and register an account and have the app downloaded so that maybe five, 10 minutes before the meeting, you click on that, it will send you straight into the app uh, from your email link that was emailed out to you. And uh, you will be able to get in with very little problem. Um, if you do have any problems in the process um, of either registering or um, trying to log into the meeting on the meeting date, um, don't hesitate to send an email to Ohio County Virtual Lions at gmail.com uh, and we'll do whatever we can to try to help you out. Uh, if you are not an Ohio County virtual lion and are watching this to get some tips on how to run a Zoom meeting or how to be a participant in a Zoom meeting and you have questions, please also email uh, us at that same email uh, and we, we'd love to try to help uh, to meet your needs for your club as well. So um, hope that this was informative. Um, we also have the other video on laptop and desktop uh, use of a Zoom meeting. So uh, between your tablet and smartphone, which are very similar, and then your laptop and desktop that are very similar, I think we've covered just about every way that you might get into the meeting. Um, there is always an option for dialing in. Um, however, most people have smartphones and so clicking on that link will take them straight into the meeting and you won't have to do a uh, phone call uh, Zoom meeting. The, the downside of a phone call Zoom meeting is that you do not see a lot of the stuff that gets shared during the meeting. So um, just if, if you have the opportunity to be on the video, even if you don't want to be have your picture viewed, um, I think that it's probably preferred to get on through the video web conferencing so that you can see the documents and the, the websites and everything that is being shared. So um, if you have any questions, email us and uh, look forward to seeing everybody on our first Ohio County Virtual Alliance general meeting on May 5th. Uh, that's Cinco de Mayo. So come ready to celebrate however you would normally celebrate Cinco de Mayo uh, at 6 p.m. right here in the cloud on Zoom. So take care, stay safe, and we'll see you on Cinco de Mayo.